Hi everyone, welcome back for another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I'm gonna go and do the run of requirement. Yes! This is gonna be so fun. And I'll decide I'm gonna run up to that uh, floor. One moment. That's what I'm doing, kids. <laughs> Are you going to go back to do your, uh, your Minecraft stuff? I can see it from here. <laughs> don't, uh, don't mind me. The kids are on uh, because uh, parents are even here, so... They're playing Minecraft whilst I'm playing this. That's the last what time I have a pension. Oh, okay, that was a lot of voices at once. Vivelio. <laughs> Never puzzled! I can't do yet. Oh, come on! Open! Yay! There's no ching! Oh, for God's sake! Stop! Pipe down! I wonder what's making that. Revelio! Probably that door over there. It's awful when they ask you. More pinging. I don't know where that was coming from, but oh well. Don't you see the romance of it all? Ugh. You and I, we are the stuff of poems. Our love is the muse of a thousand rhymes. Hang on, in this all where she chases him off and tries to chop his head off? Okay, wrong ghost set. That was totally the wrong ghost, but that one is funny when, the, when she's chasing after him. <laughs> Time to run up these stairs all the way up to the seventh floor. Let's see what Professor Weasley ah wants. Right, time to begin the quest. Hope you enjoy watching this. Especially for all those uh, that are new at this. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Dying enough to see the other corridor and then the back. And there it is! The door to the room of requirement! Or the room of last things. Yay! We get to go in! There's Forgive the me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. I smell that. Shall we? Yeah. After you, Professor. Can't wait to go in. Let's see what we get to do. And we all know the room of requirement configures itself to whatever it is you want it to do. Wow, the kids are actually cooperating together for once. Woohoo! What? Rude! Not rude! Well, I can't wait to get started on this! Oh, oh, quirky. Is I mean, I'm ears, mate. Last I decided to press on me. What is this place? This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, yeah. a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Deke? He must I don't have know sneaked where. past and gone ahead. 
speak, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Revelio. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Right, so... Blockage. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Yes! Nice! Right, so, go follow the instructions. So, go the right with the Y, turn on to the A and X, and turn to the Y, turn all the way to Evanesco! <laughs> Let's do a spell! Let's get that equipped! Um, Evan Esco! Splendid! Now, cast Evan Esco on those chairs. Excellent yes. work! You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on! Yes! What Where in Merlin's here. name is that elf? You could just call him. Is it really that is hot? That... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate deep. Wow, that's a big Yes, bag. Professor. That's a really big bag. Right, so there's a letter here. A, I've worked for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Okay. Revelio. So there's a lot of things in this room. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Uh, but you are resting. Yeah, buddy. Hey, Evan, let's go! <laughs> Revelio. Anything else over here? Ooh, there's something there. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, that moved in channel. Must be running out. Akio! So, I wonder what's in here? Casual school uniform. Well, let's have a quick look at that first. See if it'll uh, put my uh, defense or offense up. Uh, what was it again? Oh, hang on. It shows down there. So it was an outfit. And it's locked. And it would put my defense up. I can't put it on next. I'm at a high enough level. Seriously, I hope you all enjoy watching this dress as much as I am. <laughs> And time to vanish. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Probably is at all. Revelio. No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. <laughs> this fell to pieces. Revelio. Crying in the lamp. <laughs> That could do you a trim. Not cool. To be honest, that could be doing that outside. And then let's go again. At well, this rate, we're going to have a right pile of uh, stuff. Got what? I've got it. No! Oh. Yeah. Like that. Bit of fun in the room, thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. Well, maybe you actually did need a bath if you were stinky. Revelio. Oh, Chinese lanterns. Uh, 
really how does anyone it. other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Uh, easily. That's floating by itself, okay. And again! What was that? Revelio. Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Let me something over there. It's probably on. Hang on. Uh, I don't actually have a clue. It might be too high up for me. Uh, so there's something around here. Thank you. Uh, I have no idea. Ooh, is that something I can use? Revelio. Nope. Expellion! Incendio! Accio! Okay, so maybe I can put it back in here. Get up there. Nope. Uh, try the puzzle then. The puzzle. Okay. So still not there. What about there. Nope. How am I supposed to do that then? Revelio. Nope. I don't have a clue how to do that. Uh. Oh, that. <laughs> yes, dear. There we Revelio. go. Guessing that's how you do that. Yes, Paige? On the back of you, what, what? Uh, I hope that house elf can find us in here. You mean the Minecraft thing? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Right. Aha, there it is. Akio! Is that. Got it. That and there's the other end. Oh, there's a flute! Okay, so it's like oh, they're deep. Yikes! Deep. Careful. Huh? Yep, deep. Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <coughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? I am. Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Hello. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. That's I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. 
Deep seeing students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. Awesome. The room will do the rest. Ooh, I wonder how this is going to turn out. You've Try given it. yourself quite a canvas to work with. Let's talk louder there because you're all that background. I look noise. forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. Ooh. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Yes, I've unlocked the desk of description so I can reveal what properties uh, that are unidentified that I've collected. Cool. This will be more useful when I have something to identify. Aww. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Nice. But no, all that background noise from all that stuff levitating was absolutely loud. But all that it was just amazing. So let's start. Hang on a minute. Yeah? What are you talking about? Us? No, not your two. Alright, let's talk to Professor Weasley. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Cool, I get to learn new spell again. Right, so A to go down, all the way around, and then X, and then all the way up, and then Y, A, and finish with the conjuring spell. So well, there's not an actual spell for it. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. Yep. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Thank Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. Nice. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Right then, let's uh, get conjuring. So I need... I want to go... Uh, Levioso! No, wrong one. Ooh. Right, so potions... Uh, I think I'll go with a small scientific. Stick that there. And I think I'll put another one here. Uh, seriously? Eh. Uh. Popping potions. 
the villager. And I'll do a scientific one for that one too. Because the push is on this side and then the rest of the room can be used up for. It was. Not in an actual map. I'll use it for uh, getting these done. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Right. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. What do? But this is just so amazing. And it looks like I'll be able to put as many uh, post make as many potions as I want and stay with uh, Excuse me? <sighs> so many plants too. So, but I want to know more about Deke, even though I know about house elves. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. That's a good idea. That's not even on. Where did you find your control? Under my bed. Told you you didn't look everywhere, didn't I? Yeah, for not listening. Alright, so I don't think I can use conjuration magic anyway, but let's see what she says. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. Good. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I like how she talks all strict and then soft. <laughs> it's awesome. So, yeah, I will be great. sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration Ooh. spell for use in the room. Yeah! I'll learn! Alright, let's just interact with this. So I will have to draw some dips in here. That'll give me five of them. And same with the potion, let's see if I can do all. Wigan Weld and Endurus. I don't have enough dating leaves yet, but I can still create and it'll be done in 15 seconds. And that and it's brewed! Wonderful! But thankfully all this is in an actual to about transfiguration, if you have a moment. So let's do a check of what her last one's gonna be. I don't know, I can't remember if it's a quick one or not. So ultimate spell of conjuration twice. I think I'll just have it all in one right now. So I'll talk to Professor Weasley. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. I've got plenty of Return plans. to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Well, I'm pretty sure, I'm just going to double check, pretty sure I already have plenty, but I'm just going to make sure. Uh, yep, yeah, got plenty of that, so I can just go straight to her. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Not exactly to your Why liking. don't you try it on the walls and floor? I still don't think it can be... Uh, they can do everything to your liking. So I have to conjure wall decorations. Uh, utility, wall hangings, uh, quidditch board, why not? Alright, so I'll put that one there. And, ooh, a stag skull. 
flower box. That looks nice. Uh, oh, that looks lovely too. And a mirror. Is there anything else I can put? Paintings. Uh, Nifflin and a witch. Let's put that over here. Eh, why not? And then... Gazing wizard. Nah. That plus. No. Eh. Right, conjuring the floor decorations now. Let's see what we've got. Uh, statues, no. Looks like I'll have to go with the rugs then. Uh, well, let's just go with sign the sea view. Uh, one. Uh, Last one. Good work. Shall we move on? Yeah. Alright, let's see what else can we do and I can always change it all later to something more pleasant. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customise any conjured item. You can change the colours, patterns and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Well, let's, let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Right, so we've got to learn that, so straight to left, curl it up, all the way down, and then to the right, uh, left again, and altering. I don't think that's what we're actually going to call the spell. Right. Just aim your wand at any... I will do in a second. Oh, no, 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 and no, perform no. The there. Spell to customize it. Right. Let's see what would happen if I to that. Whoa, that is big. What is that? The style. So let's change it to the bot uh, botanical. Whoa, that's cool. It is, isn't it? And then let's change the colour. Why don't you do two, uh, uh, two the same and three different? That might look cool. Uh, pick colour. Go on. Green. Green. Like that? No, red. There you go. Red. Oh, that looks good. Should we have that one? Yeah. Nicely done. Now you're ready for oh, something a little more colour. advanced. Oh, by the way, hi guys! You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Ooh. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. I think it matches the room. Uh, Don't the you? Balcony or the floor of the room. Mummy, do, do you think it matches the room? Scientific wall. Botanical Whoa. wall. Elliptic wall. Pediment wire for size. Gothic. 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 Yeah. What's that? There. Gothic. I'm not actually room as well. I think I can change the size of it. I don't know what back to colour. Change colour. Uh, can you use the scrolling? Oh, it says the floor of the room. We have done the floor. Yeah. Uh, right. Scientific yeah. central floor. Botanical. Electrical. Electric. Or Gothic. Gothic. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. That looks kind of nice. Oh, wait, yes, it does. So no. it's white, yellow, it's black. Yellow. Blue. Yellow. Alright, yellow then. Yellow. So that's the hunger puff. Kids always win! Right, so now we need to speak to Deke. Who's a house? That's, that's Deke, the house elf. It looks like, it looks like Gotham. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. 
Huh? What sort of overall look most appeals to you? Rings, really? My precious! You've ruined it! My precious! Quick here! My precious! Nah, I'm still ruining it. Where did you go for all the rings? Uh, Nan's. Ah, yeah. And um, you two. And uh, I. Don't say it's good, so don't put it on at school, it's way too long. And the trailer of an ad. Right, and so. And the tutorial how mm. to get a perfect voice of the. Um, my precious. Yeah, even I have forgotten the how. And it's not the uh, the little person's uh, little. Uh, what's it? What is it again? It's my not, precious, the ring. No, that's the ring he calls precious. It's not his name. I've forgotten his name. But even I can't forget his voice. But I just can't. I can't do the voice. My precious. Well, it's totally wrong. Right, so we need to change the ambience to either a cool moly ambience or something natural and earthy or dark and mysterious. Paige, do you want to pick? Huh? Dog? Where are you? Go over a look. Do you want to change it? Yeah. yeah. Natural and earthy, cool moly or dark and mysterious. Dark and mysterious. I was just about to pick that as well. That would be perfect if you had a headache. It's not so bright then. Mm, I'd like the room to feel mysterious so like and eerie, forest, as if I'm in the forbidden oh, forest, down. surrounded by guys. shadows. Mm, sounds perfect. You are famous wine mom's videos. Well, I haven't put on the latest one of the uh, everything to get out of daddy's arms yet. Mm, quite a difference. It is. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learnt a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Yeah, something new to learn. Ooh, cool that's disappearing. I'm getting a new, I'm getting a new room added. What's the job? It looks like a library. I wanted a library, it would have given me a library. It's not. Ooh, that looks like a trapdoor. Little study area. That's not a study area, that's a meeting area. That's not a meeting area, it's like a little place to chill while studying. Oh, an even bigger space. Yeah! How did that happen? Room. The room equips yeah. itself to your the needs. Room. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spellcasting. You if you'd like it. to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Right, and that is it for that one. So that was technically two quests in one, but I'm calling it one quest because it was on the room requirement and how to learn how to use it. Oh, that was so cool! Right. That was cool! It was Let's a new see room. if I can conjure up and... Oops. What did you do? I um, vanished it. Why did you... Potions oh, why are you... Why aren't you showing... Why aren't you showing us yes. all of being in the... Um, talking in the video this time? In that playable area. Uh, hang on, that's the potions area. Hang on. So I asked. Right, so I've got another one there, which means I can grow up more plants at once. Nice. And I've got one there. And. It's going to be a bit of a mess, but. Another one there. I don't think it actually matters. Whoa, I thought I don't want to play. Right. So now I reckon that is enough plants. Can't do anything yet, but. Right, that is it for me for now. And the next one is the next main mission. So I'll see you all then. Thanks for watching.